We've been told that a law student has filed a lawsuit against OP Jindal Global University after he failed his uh, end of term examinations for allegedly using artificial intelligence to answer questions on the test. Kostub uh, Shakarwar, who is pursuing Masters of Law in Intellectual Property and Technology Laws at the Jindal Global Law School, has denied the allegations. In his petition, he has said that he appeared for the examination, the end of term examination for the subject of law and justice in the globalizing world on the 18th of May and on the 25th of June, the Unfair Means Committee told him that his answers were 88% AI generated, which is why he was failed in the subject. Later, the controller of examinations also upheld the committee's decision, but the student has now approached the Punjab and Haryana High Court rubbishing the use of AI and he's also said that the university has not explicitly asked students to not use artificial intelligence. My colleague Samba with us on the broadcast. Samba, take our viewers through the details. Well, it's an interesting story and a kind of case study for, uh, for these stu students uh, who are now pursuing different courses at the university that if you are using artificial intelligence in answer writing, in your projects, in your examination, that this could happen with you as well. That this is this case is uh, uh, of uh, OP Jindal Law University, wherein a law student has filed a lawsuit uh, over his failing in one of the subjects. This student uh, is a LLM student, and uh, he was pursuing his uh, LLM uh, in in industrial uh, law and uh, uh, allied subjects, wherein. His eight, eight answer, his answers, eighty-eight percent of which were artificially intelligence-driven, is what is alleged by the university uh, controller of examination, and hence he failed in that subject. Post which he questioned, or rather, he approached the Punjab and Haryana High Court, wherein the High Court had sought a detailed answer from the OP Jindal University and the next date of hearing in this matter uh, in the High Court is on November 14th. This is the matter and uh, it is to be seen what OP Jindal University is have to say as according to the Jindal University, this uh, the answers were 88% artificially intelligence made or, or I mean and but on the other hand this law student uh, whose name is Kostub Sakarwar is a uh, is uh, like uh, he's saying that uh, my answers were genuine, bona fide, and and uh, there was nowhere written that you cannot use artificial intelligence in answer writing. So this is a case, uh, and it's an interesting uh, case, and it could be a case study. Apart from it, this fellow uh, Costo was also, um, I mean, he he gave his services as a researcher for in in for the Chief Justice uh, as well. So. And he's a law student, and now he has filed a, a, a lawsuit against the university. It is to be seen uh, what the High Court will have to say when the hearing happens next uh, in the matter on November 14 in the Punjab and Haryana High Court. Right, absolutely. Sambhav, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast. We also have Advocate Khushbu Jain with us. Advocate Jain, I uh, want to understand from your perspective, uh, what do you make? A uh, very interesting case has now reached the courts where a student has sued a university for failing him in his examinations because the university found that 88% of his answers in the final term were in fact AI generated. There are a lot of points which has to be taken care of. Number one, there is no way to absolutely foolproof check that the content is absolutely AI generated. Number one, the the aspect how AI works is the content which you put yourself is the content it gives you back. It's feeded content. So practically, uh, that's what the case is going on between Open AI and uh, New York Times, where. The newspaper is alleging that all its newspapers and the way of writing articles is being taken up. And when they write those things, it actually generates identical those kind of articles which are there. That's how they're talking about plagiarism over there or copyright issues. So here I'm coming on the point that where in the technology today we cannot absolutely make it. Uh, it's impossible to do that, number one. Number two, when we talk about legal aspects, as it is when it comes to judgments, when it comes to quoting of sections, these are something which are there, which as it is come under the plagiarism. You can't call them as a plagiarism because they have to be dicto. 
If I talk about Section 302, it has to be Section 302. That content I cannot reproduce myself. If I'm referring the judgment, it has to be a judgment that I'm referring. That's number two point. Number three that comes over here is one has to also look into that what are the policy of the school where the admission was taken. At that time, did they have a clear cut policy as to what do you mean by AI generated? How do they check it? How how that works? That also makes it very important for somebody to check and to look into because colleges have plagiarism policy. There also they make it very clear that what do you understand by plagiarism? How much percentage is a ground for making somebody uh, terminate or fail them? So that's also one has to look into. Nonetheless, this is first of the case that has come up. And I think we are living in the generation of AI where we cannot deny an aspect that the content is generated by AI should have a question. Rather, we should have a mechanism or questions in such a manner that it has a different way of checking. Because tomorrow, every second person, every second kid who is in, uh, is in six standard, seven standard is living with age of AI. It's going to work through AI. We cannot not ask them to work on generative AI and how those things work. So I think schools, colleges have to have another mechanism of how they have to teach and how they have to check uh, when it comes to examination and what kind of questions and mechanisms should come over so that they can escape this aspect of technology to check or to test when it comes to uh, examination pointers and things like that. So I think it's, it's one of the new cases and I'm looking, I'm positive towards the aspect that one cannot deny, but then again, it's a university subject, one cannot get into it. Uh, but yes, uh, I'm waiting for uh, courts to intervene and have some interpretation in those regards. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.